That's why today I want to, 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 to give you a sort of short introduction about how did it came that I've been so interested on, uh, on the concept of repair. Before the repair, there was the reappropriation. So what is reappropriation? Reappropriation, here's a picture of, of uh, Pierre-Joseph Proudhon, the, one of the fathers of the anarchism. You, every one of you here knows the famous sentence, property is theft. La propriété, c'est le vol. Proudhon is, 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 is directly linked to, 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 to anti-colonialism project, especially to Franz Fanon. So what are we talking about in this? There was this reappropriation because there was dispossession. We are talking about the amnesia of the world we are living in. We are talking about the fact that the Songhi mask you have on the left, another Congo mask, and the painting of Picasso on the right, as I mean clearly in dialogue. So, and, and clearly one of them came before the other. The, the beautiful Songhi mask. It's a good introduction to start like this to understand how much the notion, the world of amnesia in which we are living is important and struck me to create art that dialogue with history. Other example of this position, the story of Le Corbusier. Le Corbusier spends the, uh, months and weeks in, in Algeria, in the city of Ardaya, in the desert of Algeria. The aesthetic of these houses, not only the functionality, but the aesthetic of these houses struck him in 1922 when he was there. The amnesia in which we are living today, is, is, it is the reason, the raison d'être I'm working on this idea of repair. Le Corbusier was, I mean, so uh, amazed by the, the elementarity of this, of this architecture, the minimalism of this architecture of the city of Hardaya, that he actually, when he came back from his, I think his second trip to Gardaya, developed the Chapel of Ronchamp, in which you can see the relation with the Gardaya houses here. What interests me in the relation between traditional uh, process of construction and, what, and contemporary one is to, 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 reveal, to reveal the link, to make it, to put the light to put the light on, the, on this link that we deny. Reappropriation started with different projects. There were obviously um, architects from the Western world who started to think that no, this idea of modernism as tabula rasa of the past is a bullshit. We have to consider the local context, the local climate in which we are working. One of the most beautiful examples is this house of Casablanca, the, the vertical city in which, as you can see, each flat has its own balconies which work as a small courtyard, like in the village. So it's a sort of verti verticalization of the Gardaia city that Le Corbusier was observing. This is another, another example. You have in the middle of nowhere some arches, like this one, which is an arch, which used to belong to a huge pa palace of, uh, of uh, of a local power man, uh, but today it's just a door that is used by the young people for soccer. They play soccer with this. They use it as goal. And this is the reappropriation. This is the fact that you break the codification that uh, not only the modernity, but I would say cultures gives to you. The signs of reappropriation, which actually aim at, at reproducing what symbolize the order, the power, this hat, for instance, was, I mean, this object is now at Tervuren Museum, and it's, it's, as you can see, it's a wooden helmet. These more contemporary pictures illustrate the fact that you, you I, 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 again, I change what I want. The whole question of the, of the repair, the, 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 the way that um, traditional cultures have been cannibalizing the other culture brought me to something that, that is S slowly, that is very important. This Cuba fabric was actually the beginning of the project in Documenta. It's, it's, it's bizarre to imagine that the broken faces started with this fabric. Behind each piece of, of Vichy fabric, there is a hole made by insect or whatever. It is not a decoration. Each piece of Western fabric repairs a hole which is behind. And so far, this object has opened for me a question. 
how the notion of repair works on the Western world and on what is it not the Western world. The fantasy of the, of the, of the, of the repair in modernity is, the, is how to remove the injury. The injury did never exist. This is what happened in plastic surgery. In traditional societies, the cult of the injuries is absolutely the contrary. The injury becomes more important than the repair. The object repaired have to, have to keep the injury. The injury has to still be here. The notion of repair which exists in traditional society, it is for us, people who want to understand, it is a mirror of something that we have been totally cut in modernity. We even find this, wow, it's interesting, it, it's a decoration. All these items which were brought in Europe, in Belgium, in France, in Germany, in the UK, everywhere, from, the, from Africa, basically, Asia as well, but mainly from Africa, all these millions of items, I mean, all these hundreds of thousands of items which have been repaired in the original context were immediately stored by anthropologists or directors of museums as impure items, objects we could not deal with. So I started to focus a lot on this, on, on, on this, this issue of repair. It brought me definitely because of this crossover between this object and the First World War. The woman, the doctor, like Hippolyte Morestan, were so overwhelmed by the number of injuries that they called the nurses, the young nurses of 16 years old, and, this, and like Suzanne Noel, the most famous, who, who, who went in, in the middle of the battlefield because the injured guy was like this in the, in the middle of the fires. And they were repairing the guy with a, 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 piece, of, with a piece of string. This was, the, this was extremely traditional. The first repair are extremely rough. They even used pla plate of steel. I mean, it was incredible. But slowly, four years it's long, the repair become the repair disappear, accepted that the face, the wounded face, remains anormal. And this is what I call the myth of the perfect. And that's why the broken faces has been, for me, so far, illustrating as an extreme the failure of modernity. I think this notion of connection to the past, to history, rather than to be lost in this amnesia time, it is extremely important. I hope, and I'm sure, some of you know these triptych ways come from. Stanley Kubrick, Space Odyssey. This incredible moment in which uh, what looks like our ancestors, Australopithecus, or before, is like hitting the ground with the bones and is discovering the strength of the bones of the tool in front of his relative. This is an experience that we all know. But what we don't know is the fact, is the moment in which he threw these bones up to the sky. And you have here probably the most interesting ellipse in cinema history. The feather from these bones to a spatial chip, which has almost the same shape. Stanley Kubrick is telling us that nothing has changed since then, and nothing will change. Everything is a continuum. Anything I've been talking to you about the repair and how it has been developed and how it could be developed, you have to think about it everywhere, anywhere. Probably after all these years, and still for years, I guess, the notion of repair humbody, I mean, works as an oxymoron with the injury. There's no, there's no repair with, without injury. And there's no one repair single alone. It is a part of, of a huge chain from politics, from culture, to nature, from, 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 from metaphysics to the most cultural things. I'm looking the watch now, and I think I have to leave you. Thank you very much. <laughs>